Hi there, I'm Doug of Stone and Wired Adventures. Welcome to our YouTube channel and please follow along with us as we bring you on our rock hounding adventures. Thanks. Stone and Wired Adventures, that's the next adventure, that's the boat. A little bit hard to see, but we have to come here to the reservation ticket office to check in first, and then we can head down to the boat. So excited to get going. Getting excited, we am ready to go on the boat. We're just loading another truck with a trailer on it. Then I think we're next. We're probably the biggest vehicle, second biggest after the truck. I'm sure you can hear that. Doug's a little nervous, more than a little nervous about taking Blanche on the boat and whether or not she'll get off the boat. Whether she'll spurt and sputter, whether she won't start, whether she'll stall out. We phoned Edmund and he assured us that we take it, we get on the boat, he'll make sure we get off the boat. Him and his buddies with trucks, I guess. And he says there's lots of tools and that up there. They, they must be a very self-sufficient community, being so isolated. What? to the boat. Alright, I'll see what I can do. Yet another joy of not being normal and average. There she be. What side do you want me on? It's run, running right. Let me see if I know which side you want it in front of the truck. In front of that fuel truck. There's okay. There. We'll go like back. Okay. And we're backing up onto the boat. We're staying. This is where we're staying. All go. right. Yay. <laughs> so we have to get off at no, Wriggle Lake. The, the band will have to come off and wriggle it because there's freight for wriggle in behind. Okay. All right. And once it gets to freight off, then she'll go back and she'll be back up in the uh, and, and we can let the dogs like out? Steeper? Yep. Okay. But you can drive around straight and then straight. turn around? Yeah. There will be room to go right there, like the two reefers off, so you can just come up and swing her in. Perfect. Yep. And I'll see if the boys can put you over on that side, so then you want to touch her no more until you just hope to. All Perfect. right. But we can let the dogs out at Rigolet? You can take the dog, just check with the boys, but they usually let you take them in for a little while. 
walker. Yeah. Yeah, Perfect. Well, nine ten. Thank perfect. you. Yep. So Doug took a shower in this bathroom and it leaked. It's all over the freaking floor. That's soap and water down one side of the bed. I believe it went under the bed as well. My socks down here, they're freaking soaking wet. There's got to be an inch of water down here. What the fuck, people? Yeah, not so happy. So here's Doug. Swabbing the decks. And here's all this water. They brought us a bucket and mop, and Doug is the one swabbing the decks, trying to get rid of this water. There's a heck of a lot of water in here. I mean, seriously. It's not just that the floor is wet. We're freaking swimming. Apparently, this is a known issue with this cabin, the disability cabin. And the one in front of it that they had pressure staying in, apparently. They could have warned us. Um, we would have understood. Uh, yeah, we would have moved <laughs> to a different cabin, maybe. We're generally good travelers, and it, it takes a lot to throw us off course. But, I mean, come on. This is a bit much. The, I don't know what to call her, the attendant, the... She was the cook. That's the only person the we could find. The person wasn't there at all. We couldn't find anybody other than the cook in the kitchen area. Uh, galley, I guess, on a boat. Um, she's gone to find the head purser and to get us a shop vac to help with this. Okay. You might have to open it for her. No pass key? Hi. Hello. <laughs> Are you getting any uh, headline with it? Well, yeah. And then this. I tell you what, uh, this thing, if you, if you just want to move back, because we got a shot back here, now we should go get someone